Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so it is another sketchy Tuesday, and I currently am not 100% sure what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about it for a while. I have a couple topics in mind, but I'm just gonna kind of chat about the sketch um, overall and talk a little bit about Inktober and stuff, I think. So the sketch that I'm working on is uh, for a commission that I'm doing. So as you guys know, I've been dealing with some health issues recently. So I have, uh, I opened up commissions and I started working on them this week. I'm super excited actually about all of them. They are all really fun concepts, so I can't wait to work on them. And you guys will probably see quite a few videos of these various commissions because I have a lot of freedom uh, in the commission. So that's super exciting. So the prompt for this one was just like purple witch and like book. So this was kind of like the idea that I came up with was this cute little like witchy who's like really into amethyst and she's reading. Wow, my voice just like cracked. <coughs> I'm dying. Uh, anyway, she's just like reading and having a good time with her life. So that was kind of my uh, my thought for this little sketch and I took a reference photo of myself because I'm really trying to use more reference photos nowadays and I'm just going to be showing you the sketch work and then I have recorded part of the watercolor work uh, later um, and that will probably be coming in a later video but I'm not sure when it like might not even be until next month so we'll see but you'll see that at some point. <laughs> um, I'm also showing you uh, I transferred this sketch so I'm sketching this in my regular sketchbook my handbook journal company sketchbook which is like the best sketchbook ever if you guys don't have it you seriously need to go and get it um i love it so much but i am drawing this in my regular sketchbook and because that's a little harder to use a light box with what i did was i went ahead and transferred it using like the graphite technique which is like where you get a piece of paper and you cover it in graphite um you can also cover the whole back of the regular paper in graphite but I really didn't want to do that just because like it would mess up my sketchbook um but I did that and then traced over the top and it transfers it to the watercolor paper below and then I developed the sketch a little bit more on the watercolor paper so you'll see it transfer over and I actually really liked that method of transferring um I'll talk about it a little bit more like when we actually get to it but I feel like I really struggled with her clothes for a little bit I like wanted them to be like witchy, but also kind of like feminine and cute. So I went on Sophia Nygaard's Instagram <laughs> for inspiration because I love her aesthetic. Like she just wants to be a bat and I can relate to that, you know, like I can relate to just wanting to be a bat. Um, I also quite like witchy clothes. So, you know, mood. <laughs> um, and I've been trying to use like more outside inspiration when I'm struggling with this kind of stuff. And I've really just been trying to think through my pictures a little bit more, which has been super exciting. Oh my God, drawing this cat. Like you guys, I've been working so hard on human anatomy. I really have. And I'm really proud of how far I have come. But drawing cats is just so difficult for me I've always had a really hard time at drawing animals in general and even with reference I was just struggling so much I wanted her to have like a little cat sitting on a shelf that was like behind her and I wanted the cat to be kind of like peering over and looking at her book um kind of like reading over her shoulder almost and I just like I am not meant to be an animal artist <laughs> I don't know I just feel like animal anatomy like there's so much of it there's so many different animals and they're all like slightly different and it just seems like very overwhelming to even start with animal anatomy are you guys good at an animal aminal am blah, 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 blah. Am aminal um if you're good at animal anatomy let me know down below that rhymed i'm super excited um i'm trying by the way I was like looking at my old videos and I feel like I had a lot more personality in my old videos and I'm not sure if I just got like like a little bit more mellowed out because I got older but also I feel like I kind of stopped showing my personality as much because I kind of got on this like I want to be a professional kick and like I do think that's important I really want to like educate you guys and I want to conduct myself in like a professional manner as like a creator an influencer but I don't necessarily like that doesn't mean I need to like eliminate my whole personality from my channel, you know, like, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't been showing my personality very much. Um, so I'm trying to change that. Let me know if you think like, let me know if you've seen a change in my personality from the start of my videos to the end, because I don't know, like, I feel like 
maybe it's not showing as much, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. So as you saw, I transferred it over to the paper while I was on my little ramble uh, there. And I liked it kind of, I kind of liked it a little bit more than a light box because I felt like the results were a little bit more precise. Whenever I use a light box, which I wouldn't really have been able to do very effectively with my sketchbook regardless. Um, but whenever I use a light box, I always feel like the lines are really fuzzy when I'm looking at them. And it's really hard for me to trace over them and figure out what's going on, especially with the light, like right, bright there. And it can trigger my migraines as well. So I, I wanted to try this technique and honestly I might just use it forever um, but if I keep using it I want to go get there's like specific paper that you can get that's just made for it like um, you just put it under and you go you don't have to do all, any of the graphite so I kind of want to see if I can find that um, I'm not sure if it's like readily available still or if it's hard to find I just know that it exists so I want to try to find that because I felt like this was a less da like an easier way of transferring it, especially because watercolor paper is extremely, extremely thick. So it's really, really hard to see like a light box through it. Also with this sketch, I wanted to, I guess it's not like a sketch anymore. Now it's like moving on to more of the final like drawing um, but I decided to try to use like the pencil more as line art so I tried to like be really precise in the final lines like I went over them really neatly and tried to do like line weight and stuff I was inspired by an artist I follow on Instagram I can't remember her name off the top of my head but I will like link her Instagram down below when I remember it and she I saw her using pencil lines in like a final piece and so I was like oh I want to try that I do feel like I haven't finished the watercolor yet, but where I'm at in the watercolor, I feel like I might have overpainted it a little bit for the lines. Like I think for this technique to work with the graphite and like have that actually show through, I need to make sure that I only put like one, maybe two layers of shading on. Like I'm very, it's very hard for me to hold myself back from the shading. I get, I get a little like over the top. I, I just get excited. I just like, I, I don't know. I like building up layers. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing with the the kind of like lines and I think it looks really pretty. Like, I don't know, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I also feel like people get annoyed when people are always just like down on themselves and I like the artwork I created, so yay. <laughs> um, it's not perfect, as I always say, I'm an artist in progress, but uh, I really like it. I think it came out cute and I really like drawing witches. Um, there, yeah, I was, I like how at the beginning of this video, I was like, I'm going to talk about witches in Inktober and we've got like, I don't know, three minutes left. I haven't talked about either yet, but let's talk about witches. I like drawing witches. Like, I know that's a very basic thing to draw. Like, I feel like there's always this joke about like basic art, like basic art girls. And we always draw like witches and like fairies and mermaids. But you know what? It's because they're fun. <laughs> like, I enjoy it. So like, sue me. Just let people enjoy things, you know, like. Seriously, just let people enjoy things. People get so negative and so down on like people for just drawing stuff that makes me happy or makes them happy. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like just let people enjoy things. If it makes them happy, then it doesn't matter to you and you don't have to look at their art. Like if you prefer art that has more meaning in it, then look for that. And if your meaning in art is through drawing like dope cute modern witches or like sweet mermaids or like scary mermaids or whatever it is that you're drawing like draw that like I don't know I just feel like art's about spreading happiness and joy to yourself when you're making it and like to others when they see it so look at the art that brings you happiness not the art you don't like and make the art that brings you happiness not the art you don't like um that was like a tangent but this whole like this is sketchy Tuesdays like this is the point of sketchy Tuesdays you guys know that by now like there's like a specific group of you guys that like really watch the sketchy Tuesdays so like you know you know the drill like we're we're pretty far into this I'm pretty proud of myself I've been keeping up with the sketchy Tuesdays um so which has also made me think of Inktober and I'm kind of intimidated by Inktober but I might try to do it this year um and if I do should I film that and if I film it should it be like a video a day or should it be Okay, something just fell over. Anyway, should it be a video? A Stop it, it's a cable, it's just, okay. Anyway, should it be a video a day or should it be like one giant video? Uh, I wanted your opinion, so let me know down below. 
this video is over. Uh, this is the sketch that I created. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked the rambling voiceover. Um, I love you so, so much. I will see you in the next video. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.